Albert Zangiorgi once said, research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. A pleasant day to everyone. We are the students from the University of St. Lasalle College of Nursing, and we are here today to present our research study entitled Prevalence of Burnout Among Nursing Students. The proponents of this study are Stephanie G. Cortez, Mabel de N. de Divas, Isan Marie Z. Danghala, Catherine Angelica D. Di Quina, and Catherine R. Inside. Burnout is a mental condition affecting individuals in a variety of settings. There is a growing evidence that it is a condition that can occur in other environments as well, such as school. As nursing education made a sudden abrupt shift to online education, it has posed obstacles causing students to experience feelings of burnout. For the purpose and the objectives, this study aimed to find out whether nursing students suffer from burnout. This study can contribute in recognizing and understanding stresses that trigger burnout. It can also help nursing students perform better in difficult situations, especially during this pandemic. For the statement of the problem, the study aimed to determine the prevalence of burnout among nursing students at the University of St. LaSalle. Specifically, the study seeks to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the demographic profile of participants when grouped according to the following? Age, sex, year level, connectivity status, and type of community. Number two, what is the prevalence of burnout among nursing students in terms of the following aspects? Personal burnout, school-related burnout, and teacher-related burnout. And number three, is there a significant relationship between the prevalence of burnout among nursing students in terms of the following aspects and the aforementioned profile variables? Personal burnout, school-related burnout, and teacher-related burnout. For the methods, this section comprises the study's research technique components, including the research design, participants, and instruments. For the research design, the prevalence of burnout among nursing students was determined using a descriptive quantitative research design. Descriptive research is a quantitative research method that characterizes people, groups, and events, a type of design that looks for connection between or among variables. For the study sample, the participants are 260 nursing students from levels 1 to 3 studying at the University of St. Lusalba College City. For the level 1 nursing students, a total of 78. For the level 2 nursing students, a total of 93. And for the level 3 nursing students, a total of 89. For the research instrument, the researchers used a modified standardized questionnaire from the Copenhagen Printout Inventory. This research used a stratified sampling method. The first part is the demographic profile of the participants, including the age, the sex, year level, connectivity status, and the type of community. The second part is the modified adopted questionnaire. Participants were asked to rate their own level of burnout according to the manifestation presented to them using a five-point Likert scale. The validity test instruments used was the Good Escapes validation form. For the reliability test, the results was interpreted using the Cronbach's alpha coefficient with a score of 0.85, which was considered acceptable. Validation scale rate of 4 was obtained and was considered satisfactory. This section presents the data, analysis, and interpretation of the survey conducted to the first year, second year, and third year level student nurses from the University of St. Lasalle Bacolodsi. For the profile of participants, in terms of age, most of the participants belong to 18 to 20 years old, with a percentage of 63%. Those who belong to the age group of 21 years old and above have 37%. For sex, the majority of participants were female with a percentage of 78%. For the year level, 37% of the participants were from the third year level, 32% were from the first year level, and 31% were from the second year level. On connectivity status, it was divided into four categories. Most of the participants belong to category 2B with a percentage of 51%. Lastly, in terms of the participants type of community, most of the participants belong to the urban community with a percentage of 75%. For the prevalence of burnout among nursing students, the results indicated that the prevalence of burnout among nursing students is high when according to school-related burnout, with a mean score of 3.69 and followed by personal related burnout with a mean score of 3.63. However, 
there is only a moderate prevalence of burnout among nursing students when according to teacher-related burnout with a score of 2.21. For the significant relationship in the prevalence of burnout according to personal-related burnout, there is no significant relationship between the personal-related burnout and the given variables except in the type of community. The computed chi-squared test in all areas related to personal burnout is greater than 0.05 except in the type of community which has a value of 0.038. For the significant relationship in the prevalence of burnout according to school-related burnout, there is no significant relationship between the school-related burnout and the given variables. The computed chi-square test in all areas related to school burnout is greater than 0.05. For the significant relationship in the prevalence of burnout according to teacher-related burnout, there is no significant relationship between the personal-related burnout and the given variables. The computed chi-square test in all areas related to teacher-related burnout is greater than 0.05. For the significant relationship in the prevalence of burnout of nursing students as a whole, the result of the study showed that there's no significance in terms of age, sex, year level, and connectivity status. However, the hypothesis is rejected in terms of the type of community. A study by Helpful 2002 reveals that as students work hard to meet the standards, they will require support mechanisms in order to cope with a stressful situation. Additionally, according to Caldano et al. 2020, a positive teacher-student relationship increases the student's self-confidence and drive as well as a more successful and less stressful learning process. In conclusion, burnout among nursing students is connected with their academic performance along with the state of their emotional, physical, and social well-being. Burnout may cause decreased academic efficacy in nursing students and may interfere with academic achievement. Coping mechanisms significantly impact students' academic development and performance when dealing with stressors. Students cannot cope with academic pressures and responsibilities they are required to perform due to their lack of energy and resources. For the recommendations to Chad to have further improvements to the new learning system and develop ways to both provide practical skills and support the mental health of the students. For USLS, that they may look into including academic support services in their nursing program and teaching healthy coping techniques to the students. For clinical instructors, to improve or develop their teaching methods, as well as promote dynamic classes to boost students' creativity and motivation, venturing the variety of methods. And lastly, for students to have time for themselves and seek help. It could be from a professional standpoint or from the nearest available support system. Again, a pleasant day to everyone and thank you for watching.